What you guys? Warm welcome to uh, where are we? Sunday? Uh, is it Sunday or Saturday? God, I don't know what bloody day it is. <laughs> uh, I think this is going to be uh, a Sunday uh, van chat kind of thing, just to catch up. Uh, down to my usual place, have a couple of cakes, a couple of sausage rolls, nice cup of coffee, and we'll have a little uh, van chat, uh, Sunday weekend van chat. Uh, just let you know what's coming up on the channel, because uh, we're lacking on videos at the moment with all this crap of weather we've been having. Uh, anyway, we'll crack on. I'll see you down at. Uh, well, there's nowhere to bloody park. It's absolutely heaving. Uh, so I'm just going to park here behind Greg's and go and get me uh, munchies. And uh, we'll go and park up somewhere else, eh? Back in a bit. Queue in there. Let's get down to a spot where we can have some lunch. Back in a bit. There we go. Got the mill on the right, and the river's on the right, the pub's on the left. Have I got space to park up? Yeah, plenty of room. I think the pub's open as well today, which would be nice. So try and get in here. Don't want to block nobody's driveway, that river's well up. Oh, what's well in flood the river is. Blimey. Turn off Christine. Here we are. It's quite quiet down here today. Blimey, that river is well up. Oh, let's go and have a look. It's going and have a butcher's eye. Eh? Do you want to come outside and have a look? Just uh, flip that camera. Lovely jabbly, bloody hell. You'll see how high that river is now. All that rain we've had the last couple of days. Looks like a different spot now to what it was before. But it's lovely, sun's out. Sun's blazing. Oh, it makes your heart feel warmer, doesn't it, when the sun, a bit of sunshine. These last week, ah, oh, it's been dark and dank and wet and raining, cold. Bloody horrible. <laughs> Couldn't do anything in that type of weather. Can't do your filming, you can't work on the van because everything's wet and you can't work underneath. But anyway, let's go outside. You want to go outside and have a look? Shall we? Go and have a look at the river. It's Lovely. not too cold at all. It's Christine. Lovely Christine. I've got uh, diesel heaters going. You can't hear that, can you? Very quiet. Let's go and have a look at this river, eh? Wow, that is pumping through there. I bet them wild swimmers wouldn't go in there now. Because that is absolutely smashing through. That sun's a bit bright, isn't it? Uh, I have got a couple of other cameras with uh, stabilizers on them, which I'll use on my vlogs. Blimey, that river is right up to this bank now. There's a big drop on this bank before. Look at that whooping through there, guys. Look at all the water on that. That was just a trickle. What was it last week? Was it last week I was down here? There's a couple of uh, ladies swimming in that little stream there. Look at it now. It's a bloody torrent. Absolutely whacking it through. Beautiful winter, winter's afternoon. The water up the bank here, it's all up the bank. That was a, a beach down there uh, last time I was here. Look how wide the river is down there. Blimey, Charlie! It's up against a tree here, look. I've seen floods worse than this though in the past. But hey, uh, there you go, that's a quick look of the river. There's not many people down here at all. It's quite nice. I wonder if the pub's open today. It should be, because we're in tier three, aren't we? Oh, it's only takeaways. Is it only take? I don't know. Bloody hell, these tears do your bloody head in, don't they? You don't know what's what. Here's Christine looking sweet. The sun glistening on her. Right, let's get inside. Get inside a bit of warmth, eh? And um, get that coffee out. Got nice coffee. Cappuccino from, uh, from Greg's as usual. Go inside Chrissy. It's a bit of a mess in here, guys, but uh, hey ho. Hey ho! Hey ho! Lovely job, Oh, 
Oh, the light's coming through the window there. Oh, that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? The light's shining in my eyes. Yay. <laughs> right, guys, I'll get my crap sorted out. Uh, oh, I'm in a right mess now. I've got so many little jobs to do. Just little fiddly jobs at the moment. Uh, so, but I haven't been able to do them the last few weeks. I left my lights on as well when I came out. My lights have been on while I've been driving. You bloody fool. Right, back at you in a minute. This is absolutely glorious, I tell you. Get out there, guys. That's what's outside my window. A river rushing through it. Absolutely glorious. Got me cappuccino. Puckeroni. Cheers, guys. How are we all doing? We're all good. All the, all the fields over there are flooded as well. There's a big old lake in the middle of that field over there. Got me sausage rolls, bit of music playing in the background. Uh, I'm just going to go a few little knickknacks uh, things that I've got, two little g g gadgets and gizmos and whatever that uh, I've built up over the years that, uh, that will, will be coming in the van with me when I go full time van life, uh, which is lovely. Um, I mean, regarding for I was hoping to go around about March. Uh, that was my uh, go day to March. Well, that light's bouncing in and out in it at the moment. Every time I turn my head, the light changes. I need to fix that exposure. Bear with me a second. Let's just fix that exposure. Whoops, it is. It's still a bit bright, isn't it? You're going to fix, fix there. Luck. There we go. That should be luck now. Nice. There we go. That's better. Uh, yeah, uh, I was saying it was going to be March, wasn't it? Uh, 2000, 2001. Uh, hopefully we've all dropped our trousers by then and had the needle. Ooh. Uh, so we should be on the road to recovery, hopefully. Uh, but as I say, it was going to be March, but I just realised, um, as you know with my uh, vlogs, guys, you've seen my adventure, my journey. We bought this van back in June. Uh, so the MHC is going to be due in June, so it's a waste of time me going on a big uh, road trip in March, my uh, full-time van life adventures in March, because I'll have to to come back here to do my MOT. Now I've got a local uh, Polish bloke, he's always done my MOTs on all my vehicles. He's a Polish lad, never rips you off, absolutely cracking. Uh, and hopefully he'll be going to be doing my MOT on this van. So I may wait till June, get the MOT done, then hit the road for full time. So uh, that's my uh, plans changed a little bit. So it's just jumped forward a couple of months that's all. Instead of March now, it's going to be June. But uh, we will be doing trips out on the road as well. Trials and everything when the weather gets a bit better. A few trials. Hopefully I'll do some in the next uh, week or so. Just a couple of trips down the coast. Uh, now we're in tier three over here on the east coast. Uh, so hopefully I'll get out and do a few trial runs in the van. Make sure everything's working all right. But I'm sure it will be fine. But it'd just be nice to have my first night out when it's in the van. I've been saying it for ages. But uh, it's took a lot of hard work to get where I am at the moment with this van. And there's still one or two little niggly bits I need to do. Just little, just little jobs. I think there's always work on the van, no matter what van you got, especially when they're this age, even new ones. There's always work you need to do. Let's just turn that down a bit. Talking away here, and I got music playing in the background. I get a bloody copyright hit on that. Uh, so uh, yeah, there's always work. It never ends. It never ends messing about with these old girls. It really doesn't. You're always doing something. But uh, so I'll run through a few things in a minute. Have another slurp of me coffee. Oh, it's glorious out there. Not cold either today, which is lovely. Just show you that field over there where it's all flooded. Just turn that camera around. See that field over there? It's a bit jumpy because I'm zoomed in. See that field's all got water in it. It's full of water where the flood has been. I'm looking back up towards the uh, the weir. Water's banging through up there. Look at all the water coming through up there, guys. Absolutely whacking it through. But lovely sun's just dappling through the uh, willow trees over there. Right, it's sort you out. Uh, I've shut the uh, blind there, guys, because the sun's just bouncing through and burning everything out. Till I get a decent bloody camera. Get me old bins on. How are we all doing? Uh, so I've got the eater rocking and rolling, which is nice as well. Uh, just put on some lights. Boom. 
here we go lights on oh that's uh they want theirs a bit uh, strong just shut that door to uh, block that light out because it's burning me out just open the door just block that one out there how's that looking there we go Lovely. are we nice and square you're nice and comfy <laughs> it won't be long guys i just want to quickly go through what i'm going to be doing in the next uh, couple of weeks uh, besides getting out and doing a night out eventually uh, once everything uh, drops right for me uh, with work and everything it's hard to uh, juggle at the moment with the weather as well but uh glorious evening absolutely glorious evening out there i don't think that pub's open i do fancy a bloody uh pint of shandy but hey ho not to worry uh see stick a wall up there guys that's coming on leaps and bounds uh i've got another uh, three or four that's come through lovely jobly i'll do a separate video for that uh stick a wall uh, I just want to run, run through a couple of things. Let's have a bite of a shotties roll, shall we? While they're still hot. They're still warm. Oh, uh, oh, uh, missus. They are. Here we go, guys. Nice. Have a munch. I've left my reversing camera on as well. Pillock. When you're in a van, you've got to learn to conserve energy. You really have turn everything off that's not needed because they, they're all pulling power do you know whether you can see a slight flicker on the lights now the reason for that guys I've got I've got three power systems in this van and the lights are linked up to my power system that's supplying the diesel heater as well it's a diesel heater that's doing that that diesel heater's pulsing that's the motor pulsing on the diesel heater that's doing that it's a draw so I may take those lights and put them on a different system because uh, I don't think I could put up with that uh, for a long time. You probably can't notice there. Can you notice on the camera that's pulsing slightly? But I can see those lights are just slightly pulsing a little bit. That's a pump on the heater on the same system. So I'll take the diesel off that system and put it on my middle system. I've got a back system, solar system, uh, a middle solar system and a front alternator system three systems plus all my power oaks and generators as well so we'll have to change that so these are things you get to uh, discover on the road it's these type of uh, situations I need to wind out that's why I need to do trial runs so hopefully um, well I will be going to Birmingham anyway in a few weeks time for Christmas see my children because uh, we're allowed to see our children aren't we uh, over Christmas for five days they're allowing families to meet which is good news so I'll be able to go to Birmingham to see my children so uh, when I go there instead of taking up one of my grandkids beds like I usually do kick them out and they're sleeping on the sofa or I sleep on the sofa what I'll do I'll sleep in the van on the drive plug it up to the electrics and sleep on my daughter's drive so that may be my first ever overnighter as such. It won't be a proper overnighter because I won't be having food and anything. But that may be my first uh, like sleepover in the van as such. But uh, I might get out on the road and uh, do a couple of nights on the coast uh, before Christmas. Hopefully anyway. If the plan, all my plans go as I want them to. I've only got the heater on one. Where are we at the moment? What will this say? Uh, it's 42 outside and 61 inside toasty nice and toasty <laughs> can't beat a diesel eater you look at the diesel eater forums and the uh, vlog sites guys and there's so many people criticizing diesel heaters chinese diesel heaters i don't know what it is you know they probably have never even used one they're an excellent piece of kit if they're installed right they've got to be installed right so many people have problems because they don't install them correctly There's so many people knocking them, really knocking them, saying, oh, it's dangerous, you're going to kill yourself, you can't have a heater in your diesel heater in your van and all this load of cobblers. They obviously don't know what they're talking about, and they obviously have never had a diesel heater. But I certainly would recommend a diesel heater to anyone in a van, especially winter, guys. You need heat in the winter, good heat. But they must be installed correctly they really are you must be careful how you install them if you're not sure 
get professional advice guys always recommend that on my channel get professional advice don't listen to muppets like me telling you how to do things i don't say how to do i'll just show you how i do it i'm not a how to do channel at all you know i don't uh, claim to be a specialist in anything guys it's just the way i do things and i like to do things off my own back i like to work out things myself and issues and problems myself without going to other places but i uh, wouldn't recommend that for you guys you know seek seek advice so many people on youtube think they're specialists just because they've dabbled with the electrics or 12 volt systems i think that they're, they're um, i don't know tech whiz kids i really do right oh just nice to get out of the house it really is just lovely to get out of the house for a few minutes it's been so miserable I'm not, I'm not even felt like going to bloody work some days because it's been so bloody miserable you get like that don't you in the winter it's the worst time for year for me with my depression and my anxiety winter I really struggle in the winter sometimes especially when you go a long period of dark rainy days it just grinds you down into the bloody ground it really does I've got so much to do to the van but I, you can't do it when it's raining and dark and Really struggle. Wish I had a nice big garage somewhere. That'd be ideal. But hey, uh, not to worry. We're getting there. So there's only a few little tinkery jobs to do. Uh, just a few things that I've got. I will show you these all these things in use when I'm uh, on the road, guys. I've just bought a, a, a dab radio. Only a small dab radio. Dab F FM. Runs off batteries or it runs off 12 volts or it runs off uh, 240. Which is excellent. Uh, so multi uses for that get a lot more channels with dab as well as fm so that's useful it's also battery operated so i can take it out outside the van if i wish to or when i'm walking or whatever just something to have nice in the background isn't it uh, and it's just drawing in on 12 volt little you know batteries um which is perfect so you're not draining any powers from any systems you've got a bit of music in the background plus i can plug my i can link up my auxiliary speaker which is that one nice big speaker there i can also that's where wi-fi and bluetooth anyway that can go to my tv and all my other systems as well which is lovely and that can go anywhere which is all good news uh, you can have a nice sound system in the van well i, I want one in mine anyway it's uh, it's you know it's really important because i do love music i do like playing my, my guitar and uh, so hopefully i'll learn a lot more with my guitar uh, I did have a practice in the first lockdown the first lockdown we had I was doing regular uploads of me practicing showing my, my mess with the guitar and singing uh, but I want to get into that big time I really want to learn the guitar I'm getting there slowly so I'm only a few months into it but uh, we're getting there slowly if you have a look at a couple of my videos I don't know whether there's any any on this channel of me singing I'm not sure anyway if there isn't I'll, I'll dig a few out and put them on so you can all have a laugh <laughs> uh, I've still got my bloody hat on it. My well, hair's a bloody mess for a start, anyway. The beauty about a hat uh, when your hair's a mess, just stick a bloody hat on it. Uh, so yeah, so um, hopefully I'll get into my guitar. It's, I've just got—I uh, did have an electric guitar, but I got rid of that. I can't use an electric in the van because it's going to take up too many uh, too many amps. So uh, drawing off uh, uh, an amp speaker, uh, so I can't have that in the van. So uh, I've got rid of that. I've just got my country uh, acoustic guitar so uh, hopefully we'll be doing a bit of that and uh, get into a bit of music as well uh, which would be lovely jubbly uh, also bought some uh, 12 volt fans as well I've had these sometimes I've got about three of these for in the van uh, and they're quite powerful as well to be honest I've got my power oak system running over there now these are ideal to uh, in the winter because not only do you need to keep warm which is a big big major issue in a van guys you need to keep bloody warm but also in the summer you need to keep bloody cool because you'll feel like a fried chicken inside one of these in the summer i can tell you if it gets 34 36 outside you ain't one going to sit in here i'll tell you that for one thing because you're going to fry your nuts off you're going to feel like a chicken uh on you know regular i don't know 360 in the oven you really are it's going to be boiling guys and you know there's lots of things you can do i will do a video on how to keep cool in a van obviously this is one of them uh having a nice uh powerful van uh, it's run off 12 volt there you go 12 volt adapter there lovely job I don't think you can put batteries inside this oh yeah sorry also which is what I like about this one 
it's a 18650 battery rechargeable battery you can pop inside there as well which is a major major bonus so not only running off 12 volts you can have it independent there's also a clamp on it there lovely jubbly so you can clamp that anywhere clamp it up there like that up on there lovely jubbly have that facing down see you there guys oh sorry about that lights up there try and cover that lights up where are we <laughs> so there you go you've got the fan facing down it's hitting me in the face lovely jubbly and uh, I don't know where the switch is on this there you go one power one power two power three I'm going the wrong bloody way around Stephen you can spin it all the way around look lovely jubbly down to my face whoa and the draft coming off that guys oh that is nice let's put that back down whoops daisy <laughs> lovely job Lee. there you go purring away there now that's on the 18650 rechargeable battery so there's no 12 volt plug supplied on that so that in your face especially that close and that's only on power one i think that is really powerful Put one nice and smooth two fast out three really fast that'll cool you down that'll really cool you down have a nice wet flannel or something especially when it gets really hot so believe me it can get boiling in one side of this because you're in a tin can at the end of the day in the winter it's going to be freezing if you haven't got a good heater system and insulation and in the summer you're going to be frying like a bloody chicken lovely job Lou. you know with that fan with the windows open as well guys and sitting in the shop there's lots of tips for uh, keeping cool there's lots of tips for keeping warm as well anyway let's turn that off because it's uh, making my eyes water that uh, bruise in my face so lovely so that's a 12 volt fan pack around it and that can plug anywhere i just love the versatile versatility of it you can plug that anywhere uh, that's a usb port there to plug in the battery port there and you got your controls there i think these are about 12 pounds if you want links for any of this stuff that i'm showing just give me a shout and uh, i'll pop a link up guys but uh if you just just look on ebay for a 12 volt fan uh, and they all they all come with the battery as well an 18650 battery included which is a, a bonus as well and just show you the model of that one that's a jd 199b there you go that's the model of it hot in summer cool in winter innovation from uh net detachable design uh where are we it's uh, it's a five watt uh, device guys uh five volt max output lovely uh working time up to six hours on a battery so low power nice so have a couple of those in the van get that hair moving through when it's hot have a couple of windows open and your vents in the roof open as well you need to get that air flowing through get in the shade and uh, you should be dandy uh, when it gets really hot in the uh, in the summer guys how long i've been going 13 plus uh, about five minutes on the intro so about 20 minutes in so i don't want to go too long uh, another useful thing you can never get enough uh, storage unit i mean i've got the power out 500 watt uh uh, system over there storage system guys but these portable ones as well you can get those cheap as chips now off ebay really cheap as chips i think this one cost me about 12 quid it's the ec technology one that one there have usb ports there plus we've got uh i believe we've got a light on this as well guys uh, yeah there you go got a light on it as well just turn that off turn off lovely job Lane. it's telling us there we've got uh, full power in there uh, again these are probably 18650 batteries there's probably one two three probably six 18650 batteries in there same battery that's inside one of these guys uh, it's quite a, a famous battery the 18650 and this power uh, bank is where are we this is a 23 uh 23 000, uh whatever so lovely job Lee. so fully charged i mean i'm using something like this when i want my wi-fi when i'm out on the road if i want to do a live vlog while i'm in the woods or on the coast or on a beach or in the mountains or whatever and want to do wi-fi single because the wi-fi will run out uh, the uh, router the portable router i've got got a lipo system battery system in within that but i think that only lasts about five hours i'm not quite sure so this is ideal uh, to keep it running and for other devices as well for charging your camera charging your phone so it's always advisable to have one of these they've got lots of power systems in the van it's always advisable to have extra and i think that was about bloody 12 quid really? Uh, so I've got some stickers come through lots of stickers have come through I'll do those on the, the van stickers I'll do that on one of my other shows guys uh, a dedicated show for that one so lovely job Luke uh, what else have I got down there also uh, I'll do a special video for 
I told you all uh, last time that I was going to show my drone, but I didn't get a chance to do it, guys, uh, because the video was running on late, late last time. Uh, so uh, I haven't unboxed it yet, so I'll save that to unbox uh, in front of you, guys. That's my light, latest uh, little gizmo for a bit of vlogging. The Mini 2. I did have the Mavic uh, Mini before. This is the upgraded version. It's now called the Mini 2. It's not the Mavic no more. It's called the Mini 2. So many adapt, so many updates, so many um, improvements to this. It's unbelievable, and I love the Mavic Mini, the original Mavic Mini. That was my one of my best ever drones that I've flown, and I think it's personally, I think DJI, this is the best series of drones to me personally that they've ever come out with. For simplicity, all the other ones are a bit too complicated. Okay, they've got obstacle avoidance, follow me, and all that gizmos going on in them. But they're just that little bit more complicated with all the updates that come through. This Mavic Mini and Mini range are so simple. It's just press and fly and film. So simple to use and uh, love them. Absolutely love them. Best thing, in my opinion, from DJI, these are. A lot of you think the air is better and whatever. Yeah, they've got obstacle avoidance, but at the end of the day, it's what you want. What I want is not a drone that big, or that big, or that big, or that big, or that big. I want a drone that big. That's the Mavic Mini, and the Mini. It's the only one that's that big, guys. The size of your hand. Uh, under legal flight time as well, so you don't need no licenses at all to fly that one, which is lovely because it's all under 250 grams. So I'll show you that on a future well, video. Big, big thumbs up. I get quite a few stuff sent to me uh, every now and again from uh, various uh, subscribers and patrons as well. Uh, you know, now and again, I'll go home. There'll be some on my doorstep, which is really lovely. Okay, they're only small items sometimes, but the thought, it's all about the thought. It really is. When you go home and you see something's come from one of your patrons or subscribers, it really warms your heart to think people have gone out of their way to send you something as a thanks to what you do, which is lovely. Is that a camper van coming down there? It's a VW. See your camper? No, I don't think so. No, it's just a builder. Thought there was a camper van then. Nice big VW gone by. Uh, so it does, it really warms your heart to know you're reaching some people. Uh, and They take the time to send you something. And uh, Ian has done this with me. Uh, Ian, how you doing, me, me old bro? Ian's been a big follower of my channel from my Cart Vapor TV time days. He's come over to uh, Country Van Life as well and kept his page and his running, which is lovely. And he sent me a little present uh, with some stickers as well from some other van lifers inside there. Now obviously I need to ask permission for those guys that I can show them on my channel uh, because I like to do that when I get stickers in. I don't want to put anyone else's channel up without their consent. On my channel that is. So I need to get in touch with those uh, to uh, make sure it's okay to uh, feature them on my channel. Because well, some people are a bit funny about featuring on the channel. And what did Ian send me? He sent me uh, something in a little box like this. Uh, he did tell me roughly what it was. It's popular. out. He said it was um, a torch, which is nice. I thought it's lovely. There we go. Inside the bag, we've got a little tactical torch. And that is cute looking. Uh, I believe it's magnetic. Uh, I don't think I've got anything magnetic in here. <laughs> got anything magnetic? There we go. Here's my um, camera part. So you can put the light up there like that. Lovely jubbly. So it'll hang on to wherever you're doing work. If you're doing work on the vehicle. USB, so it's USB Lovely. chargeable. Again, I think this is 18650 battery. 18650 mode. There's so many devices on 18650. All the vape devices are on 18650. Your fans, uh, the radio. And there we go. That's what an 18650 rechargeable battery is. And I've got a rechargeable unit to charge them all up as well. So that's a bonus. Uh, there is a seal there. So it's obviously waterproof. Uh, I don't know whether you can throw them underwater, but uh, I should presume they're rainproof. Uh, that's the plug there for your USB charge port in there. And uh, what else we got on this? A uh, little clip there for on your belt, as well as a magnet. Uh, it's got zoom capability as well, so zoom out, zoom in. And uh, turn it on, Stephen, see what it does. On. Wow, blimey, that's bloody bright. That is bright. Just put it on the window there, guys. You can see that zoomed out, zoomed in. That is really cool. That's got some lumens on that. That is a bright light. I love the zoom, ve the zoom feature on it. Uh, press it again. Oh, it's got three power. Oh, a side light as well. There you go. You've got a side light on it as well, which is coming out there. So if you're doing work on the van, uh, pretend you're working underneath the van and you've got that locked on there. 
There you go. So you got a light hanging below your van, so you can work on the van underneath. That is bloody, bloody good. Just turn that off again. And also, you've got SOS, the standard SOS code. I like that. That is lovely. Well done. Uh, cheers, in. Thanks, mate. Lovely job. If anybody wants the links for this, I did find the links. I think you get two for about uh, 25 quid, something like that. But uh, nice piece of kit. I love it with a magnet. You've got the clip on it as well. Nice and light. Tactical, rainproof. You got the light there, you got lights there, you got the zoom capacity. Right. You're a bloody diamond, mate. Thanks very much, mate. I'll certainly put that to some good use. I think Ian's got one as well. He kept one for himself, which is lovely job, like. There you go. Thanks very much. Lovely to get a present. It really is touches my heart. So thanks, Ian. I know he's an avid follower and uh he's been with me a long time. Thanks so, uh, for that, Ian. Uh right, what else have I got down there? I've got anything else down there? Uh Got some stuff at the back I need to drag out as well. Uh, a couple of uh, books as well for when I go into Europe that the girls got me. Uh, Europe phrase book there. And uh, uh, a trip planner there as well for Europe. It's quite a thick one. So those will come in useful. That's off my two darling daughters. Beauty. It's, it's marvellous amount of presents you get related to van life once you uh, say you're going to do van life. Everybody sends you van life presents. And Christmas as well. I'll probably get... Just turn that pull off in my minute. Christmas as well, I'll probably get a lot of animal like fan related stuff. I'll be back here in a uh, second. So I've done that, done that. There's lots of other little things as well. First aid, you've got to have a decent first aid kit in the van, guys. That is imperative. Uh, I might show you that one day. We'll run through that when I have a look. Also, uh, you need uh, an inflator for your tyres as well, because you never know when you're out in the wilds that your tyres need blowing up. Sometimes you can get a slow puncher, so you need something to blow you up. Uh, I've got a digital one there as well. Uh, again, I'll show you that one. Uh, that, this is quite a nice piece of kit, this one is. But uh, I'll show you that because I need to blow my tyres up. Um, I've got a very, very slow, uh, it's not a punch, it just, just won't hold for 55 uh, PSI on it for some reason. It keeps going down to 45, I don't know why. It's just on the one tyre. It'll, it'll stay stable at 45. Why it does that, I don't know. Perhaps it just can't hold the IF55. But anyway, uh, we'll. Uh, I'll do a video and show you that in action. That's an excellent piece of kit. I've tried. Lovely. Let's have another bite of that. Let's have a. Let's have. Let's have a donut. One of my square donuts. Lovely job. Look at those. Ooh. <laughs> I'm always shoving my face, and I crazy. We're loving it. We're loving it. Oh. Pocarino. guys I don't know if you can see me <laughs> uh, just about to pull off you can see it's getting dark outside really dark four ladies have just turned up they're undressing on the bank down here they're going in the river can you believe that Jesus it's bloody it's got to be 38 degrees 36 out there it's getting dark the river is in flood in space and they're going in can't show you them, I don't want to show people on the camera guys, but uh, yeah, they're all togged down to their uh, skins, to their uh, wetsuits, and they're going in the bloody river. That is bleeding bonkers, I don't know if you can see up there guys, in that bottom corner. Three ladies, I think it's the same ladies from before. Is that crazy or what? God, it's got to be dangerous, blimey. See them there, three of them, just going out into the river. Absolutely crazy. Right, let's get some light on the situation. Boom. Oh, the fog's coming down there. Oh, here we go. Really foggy and chilly out there tonight. Fog's coming down. everywhere probably to see it's Christmas oh, the heater on this fan is lovely the actual engine heater here's the tunnel very narrow 
Ooh, breathing. Duck. Get your head down. Oh, I just clicked the cutter then. Out the other side. Headlamps on these Talbots are bloody useless. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> We're out. Bloody hell. That was a bit hairy. We're out in the wild. Right. Let's get to my house. Here we go. Home safe and sound. Lovely jubbly.